we are live. So, welcome to The Mandalorian epi Season 3, Episode 2, Thoughts. This episode is called The Minds of Mandalore. So, spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. Make sure you watch Jesse Gender's excellent video on the episode. I'm not going to restate what she did a great job saying I basically agree with pretty much everything she said, so, yeah. So, yeah, we, we see that, I, I suppose this was already the the case, but I, I'm not sure I quite, I'm, I'm not sure I've said in one of these videos, Pe Pelimoto, the, the mechanic, is basically a grifter, which is very relevant, you know, I can't help but wonder, you know, some people might watch this episode and be like, wait, do people do that in real life? And yeah, there are, unfortunately, a lot of grifters. I am not a fan of, you know, basically, not only the characters, but also the episode don't really take R5's fear, f fears funny. Uh, seriously, they kind of played as being funny. Yeah, not really a fan of that. And yeah, so, so Din flies to Mandalore very hostile atmosphere. It's like telling a fact to a conservative. And yeah, I quite like the the creatures like cave trolls or whatever you want to call them. And yeah, it was it was fun seeing J Din fight them with the dark saber, and he's still struggling against it. And then later we see Bo Katan not struggle against it. Like she, for her, it really is. Like, it's like seeing a Jedi with a lightsaber. It's it's an extension of her body, basically. So that's really cool. And yeah, we we learn that you know you can breathe the air on Mandalore. So that was a a myth. And yeah, I l enjoyed seeing them explore the mines. Uh, you know, it's a it's a compelling location. And I, I get it. I know it's like a nostalgia thing, and like, you know, Dennis, of course, he he misses being a Mandalorian, but the, the helmet, like, I don't know, maybe it's because I just rewatched Return of the Jedi recently, which had a very similar trap. Honestly, this was probably a reference to that. Yeah, like, of course it's a trap. Why Why would... Anyway. Okay. To, to be fair, that was, like... It did look like it was just naturally there, but still. You know, at this point, he already knows that there are life life forms in here. He, he literally just said... Or wait, was that late? No, no, yeah. I'm almost certain this was right after he told Grogu, we gotta be... We gotta... Be careful, because there's clearly, you know, if there are trolls, there might be other life forms. I don't know, I might be thinking of, was it? Maybe it was Bo-Katan saying it later in the episode. ADHD, what are you going to do? Unmedicated ADHD. Tried medicine once, made it worse. So, the, let's see. I gotta say, the once we see the, the droid, like drag Din away from there, I really, it really reminded me of that one, you know, I guess they're called, I guess it was a sentinel, that one, that one sentinel from Matriculated, the Animatrix short, which by the way is excellent, in, in general, like, the Animatrix is quite good, but, but yeah, uh, that's a, that's a good thing. I like that it was, I, I don't know if it was inspired by that particular, but it's a compelling design. I like when you go and make it not so humanoid. Like, it does. It looks like an animal, it doesn't look like a, a human being. And that's, like, now that we have the technology, you know, let's let's go buck wild with this stuff. You know, let's have some some creatures in Star Wars that look nothing like human like the the only part that looks like a or wait no i guess later it does it does resemble a, a it is slightly more humanoid once it's out of the you know it has multiple forms like a like a boss in a video game but the the you know 
other than that, it's like it's the eye that that makes it clear. Okay, there's like intelligence here. It's not you know, and the they make the eye quite creepy. So I I approve of that. And yeah, uh, Grogu goes and gets. You know, yeah, I, I shortened Bo-Katan's name as BK, and I thought to myself, there's no way I'll accidentally think that what Din asked Grogu was get to Borgel King, because no one goes there on purpose. And I like that, you know, in when 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 Bo-Katan just sees, you know, she recognizes it's a it's a very distinct vessel that that Din has, you know, she's walking out there, she's like, I told you I want to be left alone. And then when she sees Grogu, but not Din, she's like, what happened? You know, and she goes on the, the rescue mission, I, I quite approve. And, yeah, uh, more great fighting with the trolls. Great to see trolls in Star Wars. I'm not sure we've seen that in live-action Star Wars before, so that's that's very cool. Again, like it's such a massive, it's a massive galaxy. Let's have some fun with it. Let's go completely, you know. Let's yeah, let's do some stuff that we haven't seen before. And Din has his fluids drained, so you know, yeah, this is what conservatives think women do. And yeah, very cool fight with the with the droid. And, yeah, you know, Grogu read the map, just like Din taught uh, Grogu to. And, you know, he insists that he must, the Din must go on. And, you know, it's it's very clear, like, he does, he is going to need Bo-Katan to, to, so, yeah. And, yeah, I really appreciate how, how cool she is here. She, she was cool in season two as well, but, yeah, bears repeating. And then we, yeah, she, she gives some history lessons, and yeah, they, they get to the waters, and Bo is just looking on, like, lady, take a hollow, it'll last longer. It would also be proof. I'm not entirely sure how Din intends to prove, like, are they gonna, like, is there gonna be some water left in... I don't know, I guess if he doesn't empty his boots, there'll be some water there. They can test that to, to make it clear that... It, I don't know. Anyway, you know, obviously the they needed her to, to keep watching because then he falls into... Which, which is, again, like, Din, come on, man. Are you not, like... I don't... I have not got a huge amount of experience walking, like, in water... But I feel like, like, one of the first things that, like, you know, if you, un unless you're, like, 100% certain you can swim there, you know, I, I feel like it's just, it's a good idea to, to try to make sure, like, place your, you know, before you step, just put your foot and, and feel, okay, is there ground there? If there is, sure, fine, proceed. If not... Don't keep walking in that exact, like, I think, I, I guess the idea is he feels that he needs to, he does need to fully submerge, but I don't know what's wrong with ducking, but I don't know, I'm, I've never been much of a, much of a ritual person, so, and not when it comes to, to that kind of thing, at least. And I, it was really cool seeing the, the huge creature, and I appreciate that, like, she didn't just take a few steps in. No, she had to, like, go far down in order to, to catch up to him and then fly back up. So, so yeah, very cool. Yeah, enjoying the, the season, you know. Yeah, like Jesse says, it's not Andor. It's not quite as, you know, so. And obviously, you know, not, not each of these is going to be for everyone. So, of course, there is a what's the word, like, some people probably, you know, yeah, yeah, some people didn't like Andor, but do like The Mandalorian, so, you know, they're not necessarily appealing to exactly the same audience, and I'm not saying everything Star Wars has to be Andor, you know, that would also end up not being, a, you know, then, then we'd, then it would be like, what's the word, 
overexposed kind of thing, you know, but it certainly isn't Andor. But it's got great action, it's got, like, I think I did like this episode more than the one before it. So, yeah. Um, especially this thing of, like, I, um, I haven't watched all of Clone Wars yet, but I think, um, yeah, that, not a spoiler, I've, I just started watching season four. I feel like I've heard that there's going to be Mandalore stuff, you know, planet Mandalore stuff later in, you know, after the first three seasons. So, uh, you know, I'm, it's not the first time we see the planet, but... I don't think it's looked like this before, you know, that, that that we've seen. Like, we were told, you know, yeah, again, I'm, I've am i heard that it's coming up in Clone Wars that there's going to, or one of them at least, one, one of the animated Star Wars, which I am gradually working my way through now that it's all on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, um, we've seen Planet Mandalore, and we've been told that it was, like, bombed and, and basically destroyed, as far as I know, we haven't seen, like, this, you know, this cave system before. So, that's cool. I appreciate that. The, you know, there's still some member berries there with, oh, it's the planet, you know, you know, from... I, I haven't really gotten to the Mandalore arc yet, but I've heard that it's beloved. So, yeah. The, the, I, I, I think it's Clone Wars, but it's, it's one of the animated ones. Anyway, but, but yeah. So there's a little bit of that going. It was still cool, like, you know, basically like Tomb Raider, Indiana Jones kind of thing, which, yeah, I um, maybe some of the animated, but there have, uh, otherwise there hasn't been a lot of, like, going out, this is a place that no one has been for a really long time, and it's, like, destroyed, and, like, the creatures that now live there are, like, Ad they've adapted, you know, so they're extremely dangerous to you because you are not used to this. You know, that's really cool. Like seeing that in in live action Star Wars. So, yeah, you know, I, I feel like that's that's the way to go. You know, it's not Disney is not going to stop making new Star Wars content anytime soon, as long as there's, you know, this is this is one of their fattest cash cows. So no doubt they're going to keep doing it. What I'm saying is, as long as you keep having something interesting, something new, and with the Star Wars Galaxy, like, there's, like, it, you can do almost anything within Star Wars, so, yeah, really appreciate it that they, that they go in this, that they do this thing that, that hasn't really, at least not in live action, possibly in some of the animated stuff that I haven't gotten to yet, but, yeah, um, let's see, I think that is everything that I had to say for this one. Is this the first time we see, yeah, he, we've probably seen Din, like, drink something without taking off the helmet, because, because, like, for a second there, I was like, are they going to get into another argument about whether or not he should just take off his helmet and stop being a cult member? Because, the, the like, the entire reason he's there is the whole cult thing, so... You know, obviously, she, like, she had to go rescue him. Like, it would be one thing if, like, okay, you know, whatever, we're, you know, we can, we can help each other out. They go there together. But no, she was, like, chilling on her throne, which apparently is just what she does all day. I feel like if there's another scene of just her sitting on the throne, maybe give her some reading material or something. Like, does she just sit there, like, all the time? Anyway. But yeah, you know, she has to go and rescue him. You know, yeah, she... I, I think she did tell him last episode, don't go there, you know, so... Sister. So, yeah, you know, you could understand if she was like, would you just take off the freaking help? I'm not going to tell anyone, okay? I'm not going to tell anyone. You're going to go get the bath in just five minutes. What, are they going to double exile you? Is that what you're worried about? And you're gonna have to go all the way back here again, like it just, you know. But but yeah, um, yeah. Looking forward to. I'm. Um, I appreciate that the episode ended before they got a away from there. So you know, maybe next episode opens with them leaving. Maybe there's more stuff that they're gonna gonna do in there. 
you know, I like that we're not sure about, you know, like, I feel like if they take his word for it or if he empties the, a boot full of mine water, but, yeah, the, the, um, for sure, he did the thing, you know, he did what, what the armorer told him to do, so, you know, presumably he's gonna be unexiled, de, de exiled, dexiled, and, yeah, so, so, you know, there's that, we already know that, that, but, we don't know, you know, I, f I feel like, I would probably be pretty happy, you know, I'm not gonna promise I love the episode, but, whether the next episode opens with them leaving, or there's another entire episode, yeah, there's an entire episode of them in the mines, you know, I don't know, maybe the entrance they took will cave in, and they have to find some other, you know, you can do something with this, that's like, something that we have, you know, because, for now, they're just, they're going into a tomb, basically, it's, yeah, they're, they're going into this, these ruins, but being trapped in ruins and having to find your way out, that's, that's different from that. So, anyway, whether the next episode opens with them leaving, or they spend an, the entire episode there, or somewhere in between, I, you know, I, I like that they ended it, ended this episode without us knowing for sure. And, yeah, you know, I don't have to be able to predict where, honestly, I'd prefer to not be able to predict where the next Star Wars thing is going, because, you know, at the end of the day, like, we already, we, we technically do know, because this is set before the sequel trilogy, so we technically know some of what will happen in, you know, after this show takes place, but we don't know what will happen with Din and Bo-Katan and others, so that's, it's, it's cool that we have this you know, that was another thing with the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, like, at the end of the day, we know, we know A New Hope, we know Revenge of the Sith, so what, how much can you really, how much room is there for you to do something interesting here, and I do think they did do some interesting things, but, yeah, uh, that is everything that I had to say, so, if you like this video, and you want to know more of my thoughts on Star Wars, I have covered, you know, I've done at least one video for each of the live-action movies. The main ones, not the, not the Ewok ones. And I am working my way through, you know, the animated shows. I've done the, the live-action shows. So, yeah. They, the, the link to the playlist is in the description box. So... If you want to, yeah, to check out my other thoughts on Star Wars, this is the way.